This is an ordinary loom, but the thread it weaves is not so typical. Amita Deshpande, a social entrepreneur, set up the project to help women in rural areas. We decided to do something with plastic, which also creates livelihoods. And hence this process of upcycling of plastic using uh, hand looms and charkha, where the process is completely manual, where we require maximum amount of people, maximum amount of livelihood. The plastic they use is donated by waste picking organizations. It is then carefully washed by women living in this remote village in Western India. Deshpande came up with the idea after being alarmed by the waste she encountered on trails while out hiking. She recognized an opportunity to create work through upcycling. The women take thin strips of plastic and spin them into yarn on a machine called Cherka. This one is made of old bicycle parts. The yarn is then woven into fabric on hand looms. No electricity is required. More than a dozen people now work here. They earn up to 7,000 rupees a month, around 90 euros. We chose a really remote village where employment was always a big problem because just for five to six months of the year, people here were employed in their agricultural activities. And especially the younger generation was anyways uh, moving towards urban areas or moving towards service sector. So instead of, uh, and because of that, the village itself was losing its youth. 300 kilometers further south is the densely populated metropolis of Pune. There, at the company's headquarters, the fabric made by the villagers is turned into accessories. A bag like this is sold for 1,200 rupees, around 15 euros. All the bags and purses produced here are sold online to eco-conscious customers. The youth are the core of the village, so it makes sense for them to stay back, work here, also take care of the forest. So we also try to inculcate those little uh, thoughts in their mind as to how they can do something for their own village, how they can do something for the environment. The work the villagers do for the project gives them a sense of purpose and pride and a reason to stay here in the village. 